Guys, real quick, watch me make $7,000 live. The title of this video is accurate, and we'll get to that very, very soon. But one quick announcement. This intro will be very, very quick. This Sunday, we are launching our very first live trading platform, which is essentially a learn and earn, but it is our version of it. Obviously, we like to do things a lot bigger, give it experience. We're not doing nothing on Telegram, no bot, nothing very, very simple. We have elevated it and took it to a new level. So you guys have been asking for me for this for a very, very long time. Well, you guys get to watch my trades and watch me trade live. So trades like this $7,000 trade, I would have told you way before it happened. I would have analyzed it midway through and I'd give you guys a breakdown afterwards as well. We have several mentors who are just going to trade live over and over again. This is not a course. This is not a A to Z video where you're just learning on your own. Those still have value and merit. For those who want to obviously go at their own pace because they got school and they got things of that nature but this for those who want to trade live with me if i'm in a seven thousand dollar trade chances are you're in that same trade as well if you guys want to do that this sunday is for you and this is not necessarily for members who are in my academy for the past because you guys had a course you bought a course you got a course the course was amazing this is completely different this is a new platform a whole brand new platform open to the public you don't have to be in my academy to join this you can't be in my academy to join this. it is completely up to you let me know but this sunday at about 10 11 a.m eastern time it's going to be crazy so make sure you keep your notifications on and click the link or watch the video that drops on sunday it's going to be very very crazy and epic a lot of people ask for this swaggy can we watch you trade lives can you trade live with us can you do this can you do that as opposed to just a course and i wanted to give the course industry two years of my time because I felt like having a foundation is very, very important. Having a set of videos is very important so you can go back and rewatch at any time. Now that I feel like I've done that and I've killed it and gave a lot of value there, now what we're doing on a continual and continual, continual basis, day by day, week by week, month by month, is just trading live together. Not a course, trading live together. Now for this video in particular, you guys know I don't have my setup yet. So a lot of the videos going forward will be like the original old days where I'm just trading in front of you guys and analyzing it on my laptop and that's it. It's not this high 4K, 6K, 8K setup like you guys are used to because that's my office. My stuff from LA has not come yet. You guys loved the last video where it was just basic. So we're gonna get back into that and just give you guys content without worrying about do I have a setup or not? So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys Sunday. Yo, so we are jumping right back into the old days. No swag you see on the left side of the screen. We're going to get right back into the charts and not put any pressure on myself because I'm in Puerto Rico and I don't have my setup. But you guys saw my last video anyway and you guys liked it like the old days anyway. Early days of 2020 when I was jumping right onto the scene and teaching everybody and I didn't put any pressure on myself. I just jumped on a laptop and just taught. We're going right back to that. So let's get right into it. AUD, USD. I want to go over both of these trades including GBP AUD as well. I only traded these two pairs specifically this week. And when it came to AUD USD, look how beautiful this looks. It gave us actual structure. I don't like how the last day, obviously the market just closed. It is, I'm making this video, it is four o'clock in the morning, if you guys can see, Saturday, July 2nd. Um, so obviously the market's closed. I don't like how this ended. We'll talk about that leading up until next week. But for right now, the market very very active i got in at 0.68557 around this area and this is a daily time frame but if i can scale down to a four hour just so you guys can see really quick believe it or not i don't even like my entry as much like my entry if i can straighten this out a little bit obviously if you draw in a daily time frame it's, it's, it's not as straight we scale down but if i can draw it just like this for a second realistically as price is going down and making lower highs and lower lows and lower highs and lower lows once right made right here and it officially created an actual trend line because if you were to place it right here this trend line was broken and you may think oh it broke the trend line it's going to head up psych is going to continue down so this is obviously a and b so as price is coming down to coming back up i'm looking for that third bounce so it can obviously bounce off this and come all the way back down it didn't give me that bounce this was the the next lower high so once i saw this and or Obviously, you got to wait for the confirmation candle to, you know, cover this candle, uh, candlestick in general. I knew that AU was about to head down. But the, the main issue I had was this is a major level of support. Even though it's not at like a 0 0.70, 0 0.72, 500 mid-level or 0.75, it is a major level. And I want you guys to understand that. And if I can just delete this really quick for a second, you guys can see that it has not broken this level. Well, I had this level right here since May of 2022. But if I scale back in time, it hasn't been this low. If I go to the daily really quick since pandemic levels and that is with the, what we're like 
every single country and what's going on right now and where all, all, all economies are heading, I think we are about to see AU tread back in those waters. Um, but so knowing that, I kind of figured it, it would break this, but I had to just had to be mindful because you what you don't want to do, and this is probably point number one as a trader, if you guys can want to take some notes down, but point number one that you don't want to get in right before prices at a major major area it hasn't broken in a while you know what i mean like if you are 30 40 pips away from a new low or a new high like a, a yearly low or a yearly high like you better wait for some type of news announcement to push it through or when you're 90 or 110 pips away so you at least have some breathing room in case it doesn't break the level like you know like over here like at least if you got in right here right here right here and obviously if price breaks down here you can guarantee like it's, it's going to get down here at least because of what happened here but if you're getting in right here what's the guarantee is going to break this like the, the only guarantee is you're going to have is it's going to get here so right here i definitely did take a risk but i saw price getting lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and something told me that on this friday thursday ish type of friday that the market wasn't just about to do this do this do this and then close just like this i felt like the market had to close with some type of emphasis based on what's going on and i'm looking at the dxy and the dxy was obviously getting stronger as well it pulled back but it was getting stronger and testing this high i want you guys to understand what the dxy with the dollar index the the dollar against the, the other basket of currencies i mean <clears throat> excuse me the other basket of currencies about six of them this is the highest the dxy has ever been like the dxy has never ever 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 been this high at 1.05 so understanding that this is also you know yearly and multi-year highs as well so when it comes to AUD USD, like i wasn't fully 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 confident it would break through just like i wasn't fully confident it would get here but i knew that the dxy was had more room to get here whereas AUD USD was right very very right near that area so i felt like with this trend line heading down Price making lower highs and lower lows. The dollar index is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And gold is melting. Remember, gold and AD USD are parallel. And with gold melting, I really, really, really felt like this was a perfect time to get in. So I got in, got in with a 10 lot. And shout out to all the people out there who say, oh, so I can use a small lot. So no, I'm very, very smart. Sometimes I, I would, like, I, I don't, there's no shame in my game. I don't care. Like, I don't care. I'm not comparing myself to anybody else. I'm not trying to do this or that. Like, sometimes I use a point. 050 sometimes i use a five lot sometimes i use a 10 lot sometimes i use a 25 lot it just depends on the trade yes i would rather use a, a 10 lot or a 20 lot on aud usd than gold i'm not trying to be a risk taker or a gambler like why would i use a 20 lot on gold i can use a 20 lot on aud usd because it's a major chances are it's not going to just drop 300 pips in five minutes gold can do that us study can do that nas 100 can do that so i'm very very smart in particular but with this trade in particular, I have a flashback as well. And I, what's crazy is before, like obviously this is Saturday, but I have a video of me trading a day and a half ago to where price, if I bar replay this really quick, price was, I don't, I'm gonna play the flashback, but price was somewhere around here. And I was looking at it and I was saying, price is about to drop and crash all the way below here. And if it does, we can see price getting lower and lower and lower. And I'm gonna play it right now one two three there's a major area right here that aussie dollar has not broken below since obviously may and if we come all the way back here it hasn't been this low since the pandemic levels now i understand we are moving towards a recession and if we if that happens i can see it getting lower into those uh pandemic levels but Aussie dollar is very, very dependent on what's going on right now, which is why it's very, very important to kind of study the headlines and all the news articles and analysis related to that. I, I'm looking at this and I see this trend line right here. I'm looking at it from a longer term perspective, from a daily time frame. I see uptrend, crash below. Now, another uptrend and a retracement. I can see a Fibonacci from A to B. I can see it's up to 50 is 50 percent retracement level come down come down but i also see that it's not giving me all the volatility i need to get down here i don't think price will just get down here and then rally all the way back up i do think that price will get here i know better i know if i had to compare and write pros and cons to everything i know long term all the dollar probably will reach down here it's more likely for all the all the dollar to reach way down here in comparison to it coming way up here to 0 0.72500 500, and then back to, if I refresh the page, then back to 0 0.75.
So let me take off Bar Raper, but you guys see that like I, I called it and I do that a lot of times with my own personal journey. Like I like to, for me, journaling is effective with making a preview video before and then a pre and then a, a after video afterwards so you can compare what your thought process was so if you're wrong you can see where you went wrong at if you're right you can obviously see the, the your your work in live action um and that is what we're creating obviously with the uh the live trading lab is we are creating and people think it's just like a signal it is not a signal group man it's not just that like we're not on telegram we're not on discord we're not doing anything basic we're just you know creating a bot and just you know giving out signals like that we created an actual platform that has an actual mobile app i'm gonna show you i took a screenshot because if i would click here you guys would saw like the the link to the website which we're not ready to release yet but we will release on sunday but you guys can see, like, we'll, we'll give out signals. We'll also give out videos to tell us exactly what's going on and why why we're trading these pairs on a live webinar. And if we don't get on the webinar, it'll be an actual video. This is the app. It is ready. This is not a, a, a preview development, like what's going to be three months from now. This is going to be here Sunday. Literally, this will be here on Sunday. You can, the crazy part about it, look at this, go live. Yes, you can go live, meaning you can just click go live like you're on Instagram. And you can just go live. You can chop it up. People can tune into your live. It's just like Instagram. We've, we've done a lot of work, you know, finding this platform and making it special, making it for ours. You have your inbox right here. You have your messages right here where obviously everything is right here on the right side. You can do group chats. It's, it's a, 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 in my opinion, it's a 10 times better version than the actual Academy. The Academy, the reason why I created this platform is because I wanted, and I, I mentioned this on my YouTube channel as well. Um, I don't want to exit out of this because I love listening to this to kind of relax. Let me uh, open a new tab. Um, I can go to my channel really quick, but I talked about it here where um, the reason why I wanted to create an actual course and focus on that for a year or two, because I wanted to give you guys a foundation. If I just opened up a signals group and talked and this and that, it wouldn't have hit the same. You know what I mean? Because you guys wouldn't know what I was doing. I feel like I've done the best I could with the courses, the three courses I created. Those will never ever, like I'm, I'm not saying never ever, what I mean by that is that everything that's in my brain is in course form. So people who wanna just sit down and learn on, on their own and at their own pace can get those. But for those who want to see live trades and see a my FX book track from me and want to get actual signals, but also not just signals and just not give you an explanation, an explanation before, like I just did with that AOD USC video, and then an explanation afterwards um, from several different from di several different traders. This is why we created it because we feel like this will benefit you a lot more than just a standard course, and that will be released on Sunday with the actual link. You guys will see the video for that. Um, and um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll make it rock from there. Um, so that was the uh, $8,000 trade. Um, now, quick analysis before next week. Also, make sure you're looking over here on, on why certain things are happening. They got a gold Q3 technical forecast over the next three months, which is very, very important. Keep focusing on, on this is gold right here, but obviously gold is, on, is, is parallel with AUDUSD. Let me actually if I can refresh it and get a, there we go. Australian dollar, boom, 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 boom. So make sure you read all of this. I will go over this in the live trading lab um, on Sunday, Sunday to Monday. And, and I wanna talk about that as well, really, really, really fast for members of the Swag Academy. Members of the Swag Academy paid for a course and they got a course. And I, th I think my issue is people who, some people, not all, cause I got a lot of students and it's probably like 3%. They get exactly what they pay for and more and then they still want more and more and more and more and more things for free. And that's not the case. The reason why I put my course at two hundred dollars and two seventeen and two ninety nine, I didn't charge three thousand, four thousand, five thousand for my program. I charge a very, very cheap price so you guys can get in without spending too much money. And now I'm launching this and, uh, and some people, I know some people are gonna be like, well, this should be for Academy members. No, it should not. This is me trading live with you guys every single day, every single morning. Um, several other mentors doing the same thing. I'm giving you guys signals. This is a whole new platform and it's separate. And if people want this, which I think they should because it'll benefit them 10 times more, they should jump into it. And I don't want this to be like a, I'm not trying to promote the, the live training lab. Like I'm, I'm just trying to get you guys to see that this is what I'm going to be doing over there. This is not, a, this is not gonna be a course. This is literally trading, 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 trading like I'm doing now. With GPAUD, this shocked the hell out of me. I don't know how many times I gotta emphasize this. This shocked me. Do you see how this ended? 
with full momentum, 95% of the candlestick, fully momentum. Now, the last time I did that was over here, or well, these two right here, where it just completely, this actually candlestick actually closed more than this. Just had more of a, a body to wick room as opposed to this, but these two, and nevertheless, after this one, three candlesticks following all the way down about 300 pips. After this, consolidation for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 days straight, two weeks straight. So with this, what can we expect? Can we expect consolidation 14 days straight? Maybe, maybe, but here's the issue that I'm having. When price did this before, and I'll get into my actual trade for this one, but when price made this big move, it was consolidating and we just got a bigger candlestick. Over here, price was in a downtrend and then it just reversed back up. But if there's no higher, higher, higher low, there's no clear cut trend, just reversed up. Over here, we're getting an actual uptrend, which is why I have this trend line here. We have an actual uptrend, higher low from here to here, but comes up, comes down, this is the high, higher low. And this could potentially, be, this is a higher higher already as it is, but I would say it could go higher and higher. Now, the issue that I'm having with this is similar to ADUSC and the DXY. This is a high and this hasn't broken this since March. And since it hasn't broken this since March, what is the market just next week just gonna open up way up here? There's a chance that it could open up with a gap because it didn't close fully just yet. It closed still heading up. The chance that it could just come straight down and, and retest this trend line or even come back to 1.75 and this could be for nothing, who knows? I just know that GBPAD is stuck between 1.80 and about 1.70 right now, 1.71. Um, and it's been like that, like I said, since March and before, it's obviously been like the pandemic levels was way up here, or well, excuse me, over here, around 1.84 and over here, 1.95. I remember in the pandemic, I was trading with uh, GA at 2.00 and saying it's gonna go to 2.5. I, I remember all these books. I have videos way over here way down here on on the wicks of, of GA, way down here. Um, but getting back into this, now with GA, and it was such a beautiful trade because what I realized was how the market started was, if I could borrow replay this real quick, this was how the market started. Right? Last week it closed with a bearish engulfing. Now if I can exit out of bar replay. Knowing that it closed with a bearish engulfing at this major level that it has not broken since March, I figured that price was gonna head down. So what did I do? Monday, I got in 1.77, one three, okay, obviously back up a little bit um, over here. 1.77131 was my entry. So around here, right? Around this level I got in. And now, I was a little bit, I wasn't in drawdown really much ever. Like this is a little bit of drawdown, but for the most part I was breaking even. Then I was just in profit the whole time. Um, being in profit was great because I was up $6,000, $6,500, $7,000. Now, in being up that, I was very, very like, okay, it's going to continue down. I really, really believe that GA was about to, from here, continue to break down. But my issue was, I see this tweezer bottom right here. And anytime I see that, I'm very, very, very like aware of what that means and what's to come. And this is why you got to know your candlestick patterns. I saw this and I'm like, okay. This means that the market is about to reverse. So I had my my eyes and my mind on high alert, but I really felt that before, if this never happened, look at this. Price tried to pull up. The, the the bulls tried to you know overcome the bears. Bears pulled them all the way back down. So I'm like, okay, great. We have momentum heading down. Even though this is kind of a doji, it, we have a little bit of momentum to the downside. I thought for sure it could drop another 120 pips to 1.75, this major area. But nope, tweezer bottom, price rally back up. So for me, as price made this tweezer bottom, I was already on high alert, and then price made a doji. I don't know if it was in a four hour or two hour, but I know price raised a doji somewhere around here, and I got out right before. So I didn't get full profit, but my take profit was here. And I closed around 1.76, 450 or something along those lines. So made a few thousand dollars, which is all great, all cool. Um, didn't get the full, you know, Sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars on this trade in particular, but that is okay. That is fine. It is what it is. Um, we live to see another day. Overall, the week was profitable, and I'm happy to, you know, move in this this new direction. Like I said, my course will will will. I'm not sure if my even my course will be available in the future because I feel like a lot of people have three years to purchase it. So for the members who already purchased it, they're gonna have you know that the course for life. Like they're gonna. 
they're gonna have the Gold Academy. The, like they're gonna have all those courses for, for, for life, like no matter what happens. Um, but I think right now I'm gonna focus on live trade. It was so much fun to just, you know, not just trade live to myself and that's it, but trade live, post it on my story, talk about it, answer questions in my DMs, create this platform, and then kind of go from there. It was just beautiful, and I can't wait to see, you know, people come into the the, the program on Sunday and um, get a lot of value, trade with us, trade live with us. And remember, it's, it's gonna be a monthly subscription because we're trading every single day. So I, out of the 31 days, we're literally trading for 20, you know, 20 to 23 of them. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday. So that's about, it's basically about six days-ish. Um, obviously, sometimes we may not trade on Sundays, but we at least do a webinar and analysis. But this is actually trading. I had a gold VIP membership in my academy, and that was just for analysis and breakdowns and homework and boot camps. This is for trading, live trading. You want to see me trade live. If you want to follow my trades, you want to trade the same trades as me, you want signals, you want to break down, you want to app, this is it for you. And I'm excited to, to go in this direction because a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of skepti uh, skepticism in this industry, when it, whether it comes to me or other traders in, in, in general. Like I saw one of my friends post, you know, uh, a withdrawal on their page, um, and then all the comments were just hating and negative, and you're this and you're that. I saw Q post his, he, Q made something on, on and he posted on his, his profit page, and I saw the comments, and it was like 15 negative comments. So I'm just, so I'm just like, you know, there's, there's always skepticism in this industry, but at the end of the day, I want to have this live trading platform so I can trade live with y'all. I can help y'all. You guys can see in real time how a trader has the psychology. Like I said, I'm only showing you guys the app. I'm not showing you guys anything else, but this is how it looks. If you want to be alerted for the actual form and what's going to happen, you actually just click this form and you'll see the wait list for the live trading platform. And you obviously can start and just you know put your name and your email and um, be alerted once it goes live. And if you guys wanna join, feel free to join. If not, I will gladly be making you know more YouTube videos for you guys and get back to the essence, which is me just posting videos for you guys like I did back in the day, as opposed to I need a, the craziest setup in the world. I just wanna get back to just posting content whenever I can, whenever I want to. So those are my two trades. Um, um, for next week, I am still looking at GBP AUD. It's very, very interesting. I feel like, uh, if I could look at Brian Windhorst really quick from what he did today, it's very, very interesting on, on, on him. Right where, where is the, this right here? It's very, very, very interesting on what is going on like with GBP AD. What is going on with GBP AD? Somebody tell me, please, because I have no idea what the issue is. Like, I have no idea. Let me uh, exit this out, but I have no idea what the issue with GBP AD, but we'll see what happens next week. I don't have a bias for this just yet. Sunday, I'll make my first uh, my first analysis on, on the trading lab, and we'll see how it opens, because if it opens with a gap, then that tells me a lot. If it doesn't open with a gap and it comes down to retrace, tells me a lot. Anything it does is going to tell me exactly, give me the direction of what it's going to do. All I need is those, uh, those few hours from the 5 p.m. market uh, open to maybe around 10 or 11, you know, agent session, I can kind of figure out where GBP AUD would head. Remember, it's the first week of July as well. Stay on alert for NFP. Um, be careful in the markets this week. I, I, will, I try not to trade on Fridays around NFP, so I'll try to get my, my positions in right before, by the end of the day. I know it's the 4th of July, so the markets are going to be dead. So you got to kind of combine the 4th of July with also um, with also NFP this Friday. So I, I expect the markets to have low volatility up until Friday, but we will see. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We're getting back into the essence. I probably will be trading gold next week. I see the, the consolidation has been in since May and it is begging. Gold is begging to have some structure. <laughs> like gold is, is one of the pairs where it's very, very exotic and very, very volatile, but it is one of the most beautiful and purest, you know, pairs out there. It is just very, very volatile and it could fake you out. But other than that, it has a lot of structure. So I see the structure. Potentially, we can, if, if AUD is on, a, is on a tank mission, this can be a Fibonacci placement. 17.30 could be um, our next target down the line for Q3, which lines up perfectly with where it was in October and August and back in March of last year as well, potentially. But neither here, if I can extend this, obviously we can see that. But neither here nor there, we'll delete it. We'll, we'll play that by air and see that as time goes on. I hope you guys got some value from that AUD USD trade and that GA trade. And I, I can't wait to continue trading live with you guys uh, before it happens, give you a signal why it happens, tell you guys afterwards, and 
hopefully see you guys grow. I will see you guys in the next video, and I love you guys. Later.